Well, 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 it is here. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you watched yesterday's video, I told you to subscribe because there'll be an Epic Universe update today. But this will be a little bit different because this is a full reveal from Universal themselves on actual details and more concept art for the entire land, but especially Celestial Park. So let's get right into this wonderful, beautiful, jaw-dropping concept art. This morning at 5.30 in the morning, I was up for it. Universal dropped, it's Pacific time, Universal dropped some brand new details, official land names, and portal reveals for all four lands and really focused on the Celestial Park. They didn't really go into details for any of the rides or attractions in the lands. But we have the portals, the names, and all the portal quotes for the lands as well as new renderings for the Grand Helios Hotel official ones, not the ones that leaked off the designer's website. So we're going to break it all down right now in this video, but let's just take a look at this official concept art with official land names. You have the Celestial Park, which I just love the logo. And I cannot wait till you see the entrance. Then we of course have Super Nintendo World, which we, we know what's in there already and we know what Donkey Kong looks like. Dark Universe, another fantastic logo and quickly becoming my favorite or most anticipated land. It, it already was kind of up there with you know, Donkey Kong and Super Nintendo World. But I think Dark Universe is, is with this reveal and the concept art has taken the cake. I mean, this is just gorgeous, but the, the ride in Harry Potter area will be fantastic too. The Grand Helios Hotel got its official logo and it looks pretty cool. I think this is actually the weakest of the logos only because it's hard to read. Um, the Helios is easy to read, but the stuff, the words above it, um, it's called, it says Universal Helios Grand Hotel. It's kind of hard to read, so it is the weakest of the logos, but I really like, I like this gold theme that the uh, Helios and Celestial Park have. Then, of course, you have the Ministry of Magic. Um, that is the official name, Land of the uh, Harry Potter area. And, of course, Isle of Burke. New concept art is really just a rehashing of the old concept art, just a higher definition image. It looks just about the same. That's because Universal has, uh, yeah, they built exactly what they promised in 2019. So not too many changes or differences here, but it's good to have a high resolution version of the concept art. And I'll be using this in future Epic Universe construction updates with BioReconstruct. Let's start off with each of the portals and then we'll talk about Celestial Park last because there's a fly through video that I'm going to show at the end of this that Universal provided and they have the most details there. But let's start off with the portals, the land names, and some details about the attractions. Let's start off with Super Nintendo World and start off with Super Nintendo World because this is actually part of Celestial Park, but also it's like right outside the land. And if you've been watching my updates or anyone else's updates, especially Alicia Stella, you would know that Super Nintendo World will have, or there'll be a Nintendo store outside the land of Super Nintendo World in Celestial Park. And this is what the official concept art of that looks like. Beautiful, looks gorgeous. It's kind of like this whole park, at least the Celestial Park area, has reminiscent of Disney Sea vibes, and I love that. So. Look at these, this is gorgeous art. You would actually would never know this is a Super Nintendo World store, um, except for the Mario in the, the window there. But from the architecture, it just very fits right into the celestial space theming. Um, and here is the inside and that continues inside. I mean, look, this is just gorgeous. This is much better looking than the Nintendo stores we have out here. Um, not saying those are bad, but I just love the classiness look. This, this is incredible. And you see, of course, all the Nintendo merchandise on the shelves, but again, you just would never know this was a Super Nintendo World store, except for stuff on the ceiling and the merchandise itself. And of course, here's the portal to the Super Nintendo World and the portal logo or quote for this logos, here we go. This is the logo or portal that is not you no know, completely finished yet. It's probably the least finished out of all three. So it's cool, we see some nice concept art and there'll be some very colorful warp pipes. You can see those that they're just not really painted or finished, but there'll be colorful warp pipes with a power up coming out of, and a coin coming out of the, each of the warp pipes. And of course the big superstar at the top there, which this will be really cool. I hope this is, lights up at nighttime because this will be very colorful. So I really hope it lights up at nighttime because it look absolutely gorgeous. And remember you go in the portal and then go up the escalator into Super Nintendo World. Here's the portal for the Ministry of Magic, and this one is just about done. So we've seen this on, we've probably saw on yesterday's construction update if you watched that one. But you see the beautiful Elder Wand on the top. But what we can see here is the reveal at the ground level, because a lot of it's dirt right now. So it just looks like you have maybe a little merchandise or snack stand right over there. 
But the portal quote is actually too long and too far away to read right now. So I don't know what that says. But I love the, the park-like setting. And then he, they even said, let's put the park. They said multiple times, let's put the park back in theme park. They said it in the announcement video today. And I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Lots of greenery. And I'm sure that they'll be add some benches. I just don't want to sit down there in that park. I mean, even the light posts are green and very celestial themed. So this is less about the portal itself and more about the area around it because I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Here's the completed product for the How to Train Your Dragon Isle of Burke land. Again, the top of this is already finished and looks fantastic. But this is what the hill will look like. You know, you see the rock formation starting and under scaffolds right now in the latest construction update for the hill there. Um, and this is what it'll look like at completion. By the way, if you want to see that full construction update, I just posted it yesterday. I'll link it to the top of this video so you can go back and watch it right after this but yeah this looks absolutely gorgeous and again i love that park like sitting and i like the there's the meat hall that's the peak like, look how tall it is we just i just said this in the video yesterday look how tall the meat hall peak is it's taller and way taller than the uh the portal there which is pretty incredible and yes my favorite land of them all or at least the one that looks the best golly my goodness look at this portal for the dark universe my god i mean it, it, at least Estella has said of course that this will light up at night and uh, that pole will be like electric which you can see in the concept art here but god that was just incredible i wonder if like super nintendo world they have you know lights you know in hollywood and japan i wonder if each of these portals will have these lights that you see in the concept art or if this uh, that's just there for you know dramatic effect i hope they do have some lighting packages in the in the portals i don't i don't know how big the tunnels are but that'd be really cool but god look how gorgeous that is i mean i could just look at this all day this is this is what i'm talking about by jaw dropping just absolutely gorgeous but also there'll be some three uh some walk around characters and there's three main characters here or factor into the main e-ticket ride dracula here's his lovely design looking all classy and scary there's the wolf man a curse that will be featured on curse of the rare wolf you can expect the animatronic on the coaster to look like this as well frankenstein frankenstein and victoria frankenstein dr victoria frankenstein which is frankenstein's daughter uh dr frankenstein's daughter will be a main storyline in to the whole land but the main attraction the main attraction will be of basically dark Moor is now a tourist attraction right and the e-ticket attraction is your you know guests are touring the manor Victoria Frankenstein's pretty upset about that, and she doesn't like that they turned, you know, Darkmoor to a tourist attraction, so she goes to the mansion and unleashes all the monsters on you. You'll be on the KUKA-style arm system, like Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, and it'll, actually, this one will have the ability to drop, be dropping, um, not like an actual drop, but like the bench will be, you know, because it's on an arm, so you'll have a simulation of dropping really fast to avoid probably Frankenstein or someone trying to grab you. But yeah, I'll be touring the mansion with all these monsters, all animatronics, by the way, trying to get you. And there'll be Victoria Frankenstein, an animatronic of her, and the Q section will be pretty cool. So this, this is, this is quite the e-ticket. And yeah, you'll see Frankenstein, he's not too happy. And he'll be trying to come get you as Victoria unleashes them all from their cages. And here you go, the official concept art of the e-ticket attraction supposed to be called monsters unchained that is the trademark name for that attraction and as we see in the latest construction updates it's almost all done we're just waiting for that top piece and yeah you can see why it's taking so long that's probably something that's being built off site because it looks very ornate very detailed and i really hope it has these blue hues at nighttime because it just looks even more beautiful in my opinion there are all the lands right there now let's focus on celestial park and let's really focus on from the entrance to the hotel and let's start with the entrance absolutely gorgeous look at this entrance it's like a mix of like island of adventure and and university Studios florida as well as its own thing you have all the guest relations and all the ticketing services here but look at those beautiful fountains i mean look at that this is when you come in the park there's those fountains we'll see in that that restaurant there it's called atlantic but these are those cascading fountains we'll, we're seeing and those are some retail spots sorry the ticketing stuff is actually behind uh behind that clock to, or behind that tower there but this is what they call the chronos and this is actually people on the media list they got this uh, chronos delivered to them and it has a whole bunch of med medallions which is super cool but i think it's just absolutely gorgeous the, again this golden theme they're continuing with here 
just gorgeous and it actually continues all the way to the constellation carousel which let me show you that right now all right so here's a photo of starfall racers which i have some stats on by the way and constellation carousel constellation carousel will be golden just like that it won't be like that shiny like that and blinding you know they spruce up the concept art but it will be gold uh, to continue with the whole theme that it just looks absolutely gorgeous and the starfall racers will have light trails like that the coaster train will be looking like that but the track will not be lit at all the lighting will be on the coaster itself because the to make it look like these comets here so it'll be really really cool and the coaster will have on by onboard audio there's five th over five thousand feet of track it'll have a max height of 133 feet uh which is at that celestial spin element which is like two inverting crossroads and then i'll have a max speed of 62 miles per hour so yes fast and furious hollywood drift over here in hollywood will be going faster uh by 11 miles per hour but yeah this this will be uh no kitty coaster for sure this will be the most intense ride in the park and certainly the fastest star for races looks absolutely gorgeous and i can't wait to see especially nighttime with these comet trails and again onboard audio should make for an immersive experience here's just more spots in the celestial park area area again just look how green that is and look at that beautiful statue there i mean this is just incredible stuff it's literally like you're going to a park i mean you, this is the spot you'll forget your you know there are immersive land surrounding you and you'll just be chill you can sit here for hours if you're a theme park fan you can sit here for hours this is just gorgeous stuff right here absolutely incredible and here's again the grand helios hotel our first official rendering of that or close-up rendering of that with that water world of color type show in front of it just looks massive and it looks fantastic at nighttime they're currently installing the dome right now from the recent construction update and there'll be a fireworks viewing area this will also be a projection screen so you do projections with the the show and the fireworks show and the water it'll all be one massive nighttime show uh, it'll be incredible this park will be just absolutely drop dead gorgeous and it really a stunning theme park achievement in the 21st century all right and with that I will leave you to this two minute flyover video of Celestial Park that Universal put out today. Um, I will not bore you with my voice on this because you just need to take in, take in this all by yourself with this nice music behind here because yeah, just take, I want you to take it in. I want you to do pause video, go back and forth because this is quite, quite a beautiful flyover. But if you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this video, please, Subscribe for more theme park updates. Check out my Patreon for more exclusive rumors, early access to videos, more updates on uh, Epic Universe and Permits and all that good stuff. And everybody, have an epic day. And let me know your thoughts about this concept art down below. It's just absolutely incredible. I mean, I, I cannot get over how incredible this is.